three iguanas. There's actually quite a few big iguanas in that field right there. But they might be a little bit too big for bait. We want to get the perfect size bait that a snakehead can munch an iguana, probably in one or two bites. All right. I think I see them right there. Might be our only shot on getting them. Let's see if we can bag them. All right, we got him one time. He didn't quite learn his lesson. Now let's see if we can get him again. Oh. There goes that little bugger. Wow. Look at that. That's gonna be a perfect snakehead bait. What'd you think, Pawn Stars? Yeah. What'd you think, Roddy? looks good could you imagine these things swim on top of the water i can only imagine a big hungry snakehead tracking this thing down and trying to munch it while we're here guys we're gonna go see if we can get some more iguanas but we're gonna go ahead and put this guy in the bag see if we can get our snakehead i just dropped down the uh the mini mullet oh oh it's big oh he ate, he ate the mini mullet bro oh yes ah yo Second fish on the mini mullet. What we got? Oh. Nice. Oh, look at that mini mullet stuck right there in his mouth. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, look at the mini mullet right in his mouth. Oh. Holy smokes. Yo, we got the large mouth bass. Now we got the snake head on the mini mullet. Yo, this lure really does work. What do you think, Sherman? It looks like a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Fred said about it. That's what yeah. Fred said about it when he called him. Oh, super feisty. You do like a catfish. Yo, look at that right there. He wanted every bit of it. This is what you call a uh, bullseye snakehead. Invasive species here in Florida. Look at the teeth on him right there too. You do not want to be on the receiving end of those teeth right there. That is insane. All right, so the rule is you're able to release them in the same body of water that you caught them, per FWC guidelines. Now drop a comment if you want us to do a catch and cook in the future. Look at the mini mullet right there, bro. I'm gonna hold this. Are you gonna get The mini mullet is just like perfectly like right there, bro. You gotta get that mullet out of his mouth, man. I know. Let me see. Let me, let me, hold on, hold on. Let me see close up. This, yeah. His mouth. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah he, he, he went he out. He devoured the mini mullet like crazy. He doesn't want to let go of it, too. Dude, you might have to try to get that out. You want to try to get that out, bud? Yeah. One fat. Use a stick. Okay, stick. I'll get a stick. Yeah, you, we need your help. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Come on, you I need this lure back. <laughs> so we can go catch another one. Uh, I think we should use the knife. <laughs> I think we should use the knife. <laughs> Alright, grab it, grab it. Pull it out. Grab the lure. Pull it out. Oh! oh, oh I got it, I got, got it. Got, I got, it. It. got the mini mullet out. Oh! oh. Oh, 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 so pretty. I'm a snake. Oh my god. Slithery snake. Just jumped out of my hand and slithered right back in the water. So, thank you for watching. That wraps up today's video. The mini mullet has proven itself for the very first time in using it. And what an awesome bait. Oh, I'm trying to show something. It got shredded. Oh, it did. Oh, right there. Yeah, it got shredded. Got shredded right there. That's okay, it's still usable. But just look at the, the realistic finish on the lure. Amazing. So yo, that wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope everybody's doing great, having a blessed day. If you're new to my channel for the very first time, please consider subscribing, really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.